Keisha. And you won't believe what I've got in here. All the makings of an art fair. It'll have tents and games and prizes and a place you can make your own artwork and some of the most spectacular carnival rides ever. And here's what makes it all happen. This amazing paint palette. Watch what happens. See? Didn't I tell you? There's one big problem, though. Over there is where the carnival rides are supposed to go. And here's the blueprint showing what they'll look like. But right now, I don't have any of the pieces to put them together. Do you think you can help me get them so I can set up the rides? Oh, I hope so. You can have lots of fun with art while you're at it. What's art? Gee, I don't know. It's hard to say precisely. Is it just anything you make? That's put together nicely? Well, first let's see exactly how it's made. Okay. You start with a medium like cloth or paint or pencil. Then you use some scissors or a brush or other cool utensil. Perhaps something to guide your hand, a ruler or a stencil. But the final thing that's needed is in glitter, gloss, or glue. Before we call it art, it needs a little bit of you. Before we call it art, it needs a little bit of you. Jumpstart Artist is an artistic game where it covers various art-related topics for ages 5 to 8. Such as art styles, art principles, famous artists and artworks, types of art, and forms of art from different cultures. This game takes place in an art fair hosted by me, Keisha Koala, who is the main character and mascot of the game. The activities take place inside these five different tents. The purple tent is Frankie's Paint Along Songs. Hi, I'm Frankie. I sure hope you'll visit my movie tent. It's like a little Hollywood in here. The red tent it's Casey's concentration. Hi, I'm Casey. Step right up and test your memory here. The yellow tent is your personal art studio and gallery. Hello there, I'm Eleanor. I'll help you create wonderful works of art in your studio. The blue tent is Hopsalot's inventions tent. Hi, I'm Hopsalot. Just wait until you try to copy and paint these crazy things I invented. The green tent is the takeoff point for CJ and Edison's amazing art expeditions. Hi, I'm CJ. Believe it or not, my friend Edison and I have a hot air balloon in here. And if you come play our collecting game, you can send us off on some fabulous adventures. And you already know what's going to be behind those gates. The Carnival Rides! The goal is to collect pieces of my rhymes. Which, when assembled, enable the user to view music videos explaining various art concepts. The toolbar has everything you need to get a rhyme. The back arrow allows you to leave an area and return to the main screen. If you're already at the main screen, overlooking all the tents, this button allows you to exit the program. The question mark is the help button. Clicking here will give you a hint about how to play. The button with three rulers means change levels. This allows you to adjust the difficulty of an activity. Frankie and Eleanor Elephant's activities do not have the leveling actions. Hopsalot's, CJ's, and Casey Cat's activities each have three difficulty levels. The book is the progress report. This displays your progress for each of the games. The blueprint displays the schematics of my rhymes. It shows you which pieces you already collected. In Hopsalot's invention tent, the player must recreate my inventions by placing shapes in the correct places. On higher levels, the player must also color the shapes in. The player can also press the clear button to start over with a new invention. 
The print button allows the player to print out the invention they just created. Once the player has reconstructed three inventions, he or she will be rewarded with a piece for one of Kishikawa's carnival rides. In level one, the player must click and drag the shapes to the right places. In level two, the player must click and drag the shapes to the right places, then color the shapes in. The player only uses primary colors on this level. In level three, the player must click and drag the shapes into the right places, then color the shapes in. The player uses secondary and tertiary colors on this level, as well as shades and tints. I have put together some fun inventions using shapes, colors, and forms. See if you can reconstruct them. Click on the scrambled pieces below the picture of my invention and place them into the correct position in your workspace. To learn more about colors, click on the color wheel button. Once you build all three of my inventions, you'll win a reward piece for Keisha Koala's Carnival Rides. In CJ and Edison's Art Expeditions, me and Edison are going on an art-related trip to another part of the world in our hot air balloon. But first need the player's help to find and pack three items that will indicate where we're going. The game takes place in a strange area full of chutes and ladders and elevators and other contraptions with which to get around. Edison will name a rhyme or a riddle to indicate what item is needed and the player must guide me to that item pick it up and bring it back to the hot air balloon while avoiding any obstacle that could splash me with paint and require me to take a detour to the shower before proceeding anytime an item is delivered edison will display a picture relating to that item and explain something about it connected to the item's relevance to our expedition. Usually the last item will be related to a specific kind of artwork created in a specific part of the world. Once three items are collected, Edison will display the three pictures and ask the player a simple question about them. Once this is answered correctly, our destination will be revealed and we depart to go there and will send the player a photograph about it before the next round. Two expeditions must be made in order to earn a piece for one of Keisha Koala's carnival rides. Help us gather the things we need from the storage tent for our, our expeditions around the world. Use the left and right arrow keys on the keyboard, or move your mouse over me and click on the green arrows to move me around the screen. Use the spacebar or move the cursor over me and click on the green hand to pick up an item. Collect all three items for our expedition. Edison will tell you a rhyme or riddle for each item. Move me to the item, pick it up, move me to the hot air balloon, and put the object by clicking on the balloon or hitting the spacebar. But watch out for the dripping, splashing spray and hidden paint. If I get hit, you'll need to move me to the shower to clean off before you can continue. And sometimes, the showers have a funny way of moving around the storage tent. Help us take two expeditions and win a reward piece for Kishikawa's carnival rides. In your personal art studio and gallery, join me, Eleanor Elephant, as you create and present your original artworks. This tent has two areas. 
the gallery with frames for your artworks and the desk where you do your creative work. To create some artwork, click on the desk. To frame an artwork, click on one of the frames. Your toolbox has four sets of tools. Painting and drawing, quilts and other textiles, collage, and puppets. To access a set of tools, just click on one of the four tool set buttons on the far left of the blue toolbox. Drawer will open with that set of tools. Select and click on the tool you'd like to use. Some other jars will open with other choices you can use with that particular tool. To change tool sets, just click on another one of the four tool set buttons on the far left of your toolbox. To use a painting or drawing tool, just hold down the mouse button and a draw. For a stamp or sticker, click on the spot where you would like to place it. Use the rotate arrows to turn it. Then, click somewhere else to step it into place. Another stamp or sticker will appear on your mouse cursor. Use it again, or click on the tool or button to get rid of it. I will give you a rewards piece for Keisha Koala's carnival rides after every three artworks you save. There's a big array of artist tools you can use at your desk. Just about anything you can think of. In Casey's concentration, I promised Keisha Koala I'd loan her my art book. But trying to bring it right away, I tripped on a rock and the pictures in it fell out. And I need help putting them back in the right places. Play my memory game to uncover clues about the artworks. And then, choose the correct picture that fits the clues to place it back in the art book. I will spin the art wheel. The player clicks on the doors on the art wheel to uncover the images underneath. The player needs to find the matching images. For each match the player finds, he or she receives a clue about the artwork that I need. Once the player has matched all the images, and thus found all the clues, he or she will have to look at the set of artworks and select the one that I need. After the player successfully returns two artworks to my art book, he or she will receive a piece for Keisha Koala's Carnival Rides. The player can also click on my art book at any time during the activity and view the pictures they collected inside of it. The artworks are separated into five categories. Portraits, group portraits, landscapes, still lives, and other art forms. Each artwork will have a set of icons on its left when viewed. Each icon stands for one of the elements of the artwork, such as its style, its medium it was created with, and the artist who created it. In level 1, the player must make four matches. The player must determine the correct artwork out of two works of art. In level 2, the player must match six matches. If a player chooses a wild card on his or her first try, he or she has to match it. Or else, the wheel will spin and mix up all the cards that had not been matched yet. The player must determine the correct artwork out of three works of art. In level three, the player must match eight matches. If the player chooses a wild card on either his or her first or second try and fails to find its match, the wheel will spin and mix up all the cards that have not been matched yet. The player must
must determine the correct artwork out of four works of art. Once you play all the games at all the levels, my art book will contain more than 75 fine artworks from around the world. Following the full list of artworks. In Frankie's Paint Along Sans, I need help finishing some movies. The player can choose one of the four movies, each of which showcases a different location. Africa, Egypt, China, and Mexico. Each movie requires the player to complete three frames for three different scenes. The player can freely draw and paint in the frames. Using the same tools from the Your Personal Art Studio and Gallery activity. And then, click on the done horn when finished. Once the three frames have been completed, the player can save the movie and watch it at the theater with the Jumpstart Gang. For each movie the player completes, he or she will be rewarded with a piece for one of Keisha Koala's carnival rides. My animation artist has the flu, and I need your help to finish some movies. Choose a musical adventure from Africa, Egypt, China, or Mexico by clicking on one of the movie posters. Or play a movie you've already finished by clicking on the movie portfolio at the base of the posters. Select the movie you like to play and then click on the play button. Each movie has three frames that need finishing. Use the painting and drawing tools and then click on the done horn when you're finished with each frame. Finish all three frames, save the movie, and you can join the whole Jumpster Gang at the movie theater to watch the premiere. The tools are the same painting and drawing tools detailed in your personal art studio and gallery. The movie portfolio works a little bit differently. If you like to finish or edit a movie you've already done, open your movie portfolio. Select the movie you'd like to work on, and then click on the Edit Finish button. You can pick up from where you left off on an unfinished movie, or create a brand new movie based on one you've already completed. If you like to start over on one of the frames you currently worked on, just use the eraser to clear the template. To print a movie, select the movie you'd like to print from your portfolio. Click on the Edit Finish button so that the movie appears in your workspace. Then, click on the Print button. Now for the movie premiere. Watch your paintings come to life in these musical adventures. Each completed movie earns you a reward piece for Keisha Koala's Carnival Rides. In Keisha's Carnival Rides, me and you will ride the various rides that we've already built. The Texture Roundabout, the Painting Ferris Wheel, the Collage Funhouse, and the Roller Coaster of Lines. The Collage Funhouse teaches about making a collage. The Texture Roundabout teaches about artistic concepts of texture. It is revealed in the bridge that it is sung by a trio of mayors. The Roller Coaster of Lines teaches about different types of lines. The Painting Ferris Wheel teaches about different types of paintings, styles, and artistic mediums. This artistic product is part of the Jumpstart Learning System from Knowledge Adventure. 
the Jumpstart Learning System is the award-winning line of educational products that is organized by grade level. Offering complete age-appropriate curriculum from toddlers all the way through sixth grade. Only from Knowledge Adventure. Helping children everywhere. Discover.